If you need to make a presentation for work that actually gets remembered and doesn't bore your colleagues to tears, well, it's time to learn how to make an animated presentation. Five easy steps. I'm Nick from Powtoon. If you like how-tos like this, let us know by hitting that like button down below. Subscribe for more. Tell your friends. Tell your teacher you first made a PowerPoint for. <laughs> let her know what you're up to. And let's dive right in. Step number one is to create your structure. Now, there's a few ways to do this. If you are super pressed in time, don't worry. We've got templates for you, and you can just search even for presentation. And then you've got all these fine options available to you. Those can also double as a video presentation. But if you've got something in particular, you've got it all mapped out already, you want to just get this presentation made, you've got some time carved out, you can go ahead and start from scratch, make a blank presentation. And you can choose your look, whatever makes sense, right? If you want more whiteboard, cartoon, infographic, if you're presenting a lot of data or something real, maybe you've got a kind of more corporate, stodgy audience that needs something that's uh, not, uh, not too fun, right? You can do something powerful. Uh, or Modern Edge, which is kind of our most uh, hip looking characters and, and, uh, and shapes and, and props and all that good stuff. And so step one is bring structure, right? So let's look at these layouts here. What I, lo what I love about these generic layouts is actually they're just very plain. They've got placeholder text, they've got placeholder designs, and it's very easy to customize these to whatever you want. You're going to want to, of course, start with some kind of title slide. It's one click. You've got all this here. And next, you're going to give people an agenda so they know what they're in for, right? Uh, and then you get into the body of what you're presenting. Perhaps you want to present some ideas. And you can do that very easily like this. Perhaps you want to dive deeper on one of those ideas and get a little bit of info there. Maybe you've got a big conclusion that you want to make as a big headline, right? Boom. Just like that. Uh, something that's really important, what about how you visualize data? We've got all these options down here. Uh, for instance, you want to show growth over time. You can show something like this. I'll move my window. Uh, and all of these can be customized. You can change the shapes, or change this text, change the colors. Maybe you need to show something like this that also includes an image. Uh, maybe you want to show a process or some sort of flow. Uh, maybe you want to be able to show milestones or a timeline for something that uh, your team is working on, whatever is a part of this presentation. So once you build all of that, of course, you don't want to forget to end uh, with what people can do next. Maybe that's how they can get in touch with you to learn more. Maybe you've got additional items that you want to share with them or other actions you want to take want them to take. That's something you can put right here at the end of the presentation. Once you've got the structure of your presentation created, then we're on to step two, which is customize your look. I talked about this a little bit earlier, but all of this stuff can be customized. For instance, here's your title. My awesome presentation. Presentation. Look how easy it is to be a presentation. Superstar. Boom. Maybe this image doesn't work for you, right? So you can just double click on that and this image frame will allow you to add an image. You can use images that you already have. Uh, you can upload an image. You can also use these premium images that are here. Right. Let's do this guy. So boom, thumbs up. Big time thumbs up if I want to fix how this is. I just do that. Click out of there. Boom. There we go. It's my big thumbs up display. And you know what? This gray, obviously, I want to zhuzh it up with some color. Click color. I can drag around. See what I like. You 
you know, I kind of like this, uh, I kind of like this blue right here, just so I can have it ready for everything else I'm doing here. I'm going to click the plus sign so I've got it in my colors. Now I can go around and just update my background colors with my color of choice. Obviously run through and do that for your whole presentation. One last thing to be sure you do to customize this, if you are doing this work for a company, if you're doing this for a, your own personal brand, anything that you're doing, you're going to want to be sure to upload that logo. It's super easy. Uh, you just want to go to the Images tab. Ooh, here we go. Upload Image. You can upload it directly from your computer. You can import it from all of these places. Here's an Apple logo, why not? Let's pretend I work for Apple, ladies and gentlemen. So I've got my logo right there. Actually, I want to be sure that it's on the screen the whole time. I'm going to copy it and just paste it along. Ooh, can't really see it there. My other slides. Step number three, let's talk about adding characters. You see, we've got some options here in these layout sets where you use characters to show something rather than to tell it in text or in a static image. So this is a really cool way to do this. And of course, these characters are totally customizable, which is a wonderful thing. So if you need you know, updated to that blue, we can actually go ahead and check out their face, check out their skin tone. And I can use my colors there, save. And do the rest there. You could have a character follow you through the presentation, show up at different places. Another thing to consider, do you want your character that you're using to be someone that your audience will recognize, resonate with, and connect to? Or perhaps you want your character to be an avatar of you, the presenter, right? So that you can be both there sharing your presentation, be that in person or on a video call, and you can also be in the presentation, right? Be in the midst of what you're sharing with your audience. It's a great way to focus attention, to interrupt a pattern, and to get people engaged with your message. JFK, LAX, my mic's get coast to coast, my mic's Step number four, what about adding video to your presentation? There's nothing more powerful than video to get people's attention, so especially to be able to embed that inside uh, your, your talk and uh, the experience that everybody's having makes your message that much more powerful. Let me show you exactly how this works. You go to the Videos tab on the library. You can see we have tons of stock footage available here for you grouped in different ways, or you can upload your own video. Uh, super easy. Again, those same sources you can upload from or record something right there. So you see the first thing it's going to tell you, hey, you've got a mismatch here, right? The slide length is 10 seconds, but my clip is 17 seconds. What would I like to do? Trim the video or increase the length of my slide? I'm going to increase the length of my slide. Oh, and look, here we have this video. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move the whole thing this way so it starts a little bit earlier. I'm also going to resize it so it fits like that. And now we can see how this looks. I'm just going to press play. This is an example of a video that you can insert into your presentation. Step number five. You want to review all of the animation. What am I talking about? Well, certainly with any of the characters that you've used. Click this on the settings menu. You can see the different poses. You want to make sure that the poses they're using reflect the emotion that you want to get across. Uh, but in the settings menu, you can also see the animation tab. Do you want them to animate this gesture? Do you want, to, do you want them to play it in a loop? Hooray, hooray. Do you want it to play just a few times and then stop? You can do that, or no animation at all, you can do that as well. Uh, another aspect of animation is all about how the text is showing up. You can see here this text box has an entry effect that is enter to the right revealed in its little box here. Let's see what that looks like. 
You've got other options, of course, uh, and this is just adds another level of dynamism. You might want to choose one kind of entry and exit effect and use that throughout your presentation. You might want to use one most of the time, but then have a different one for different things, or one for text and a different one for characters. So we have these other options, and of course with text you also have the option of having a hand write it for you, a little classic kind of whiteboard look. One last item to remember about animation, it's also about how you move from slide to slide. So let's talk about the different transitions we have available. They're here. Uh, you just click on this item between the slides and you can see the whole menu. We've got some basic ones, executive ones. These are super cool. These are my favorite so far. Stylized ones, camera effects. So you're going to want to choose something and be consistent. This is a great way to show movement from one slide to the next, uh, and it adds that. One last bonus step for you guys, just a tip perhaps. Practice, practice, practice. The best presentations, those people you see giving TED Talks, people who look so at ease with what they're saying and everything comes out so naturally, it's that way because they know the material backwards and forwards. Give the presentation to a colleague or a couple of colleagues. Get their feedback. Do it in the mirror. Use Powtoon Capture and record yourself giving your presentation. If it goes well, not only will you have practice, but you'll have a version of your presentation in video presentation form that you can share with any of your colleagues at any time. And when the big day of the performance comes, you know what you want to say. You know the emotional journey you want to take your audience on, and you are ready to stand up there and present with pride. Woo! And that is how to make an animated presentation in five easy steps. I hope this helps you out on your next presentation. I hope your audience is wowed by what you put up there. Super engaged. They fall in love with your characters, and they're sitting out there in the audience or out on the call, and they're wondering who made that for them. And you can tell them, I made it with Powtoon's visual communication platform.